new with macOS 10.6.6 is the App Store. Make sure that your operating system is updated to 10.6.6 and then come to the Apple menu and you'll see a new item, App Store. Open it up and a window appears, the home page, populated with all kinds of things including new and noteworthy, quick links to your account, a list of the top paid apps, what's hot, top free and so on, top grossing. You can of course browse around, you might choose new and noteworthy, click on see all to see all the new and noteworthy apps available. And here they are. Notice that you can sort them in various ways, by featured, by name, by release date to see what's most recently available. There might be something that you want to look for though, for example, Text Wrangler which is superb for writing and editing text and also it's free. Type it into the search box and press return. After a moment or two of thinking, I'll just press return again, there we go. After a moment or two you can see that Text Wrangler has turned up and there's a very small amount of information about it including that it's free. The trick is click on the name and you now get full details. On this page it's not always obvious what's a link, so hover over things and look for the pointing finger to find the actual links. Here we are, you can read about Text Wrangler, scroll down, see customer ratings, customer reviews and so on, and you can also click on the arrow beside where it says free, you can copy the link and paste that into an email, or you can tell a friend about it. But more particularly, if you want to actually buy this piece of software, this one's free, but in the App Store you always talk about buying things and purchases, just click on the word free. Now you need an Apple ID to work with the App Store. You probably have one of those already. Look at the written version of my tip for a bit more information and some links about where to go to check on an Apple ID. My Apple ID is there, I just need my password, and then click Sign In. Now notice how the icon leapt over from there to the dock, and in here you can see a small progress bar to show you what's going on. We'll just have to wait while it's downloading. While we're doing that, I'll go and look at my Applications folder, and you see I don't already have Text Wrangler in here. But now it's finished downloading and it's popped up here. It bounced in the dock to tell me as well. Now I can just open that app and start using it. Have fun with the App Store, it's really interesting. And by the way, if Text Wrangler should happen to be updated at some point, it'll tell me here in the Updates section of the App Store. At the moment, I've got nothing. You can also see a list of your purchases, that is, items that were free or that you had to pay for, listed here with some information about when you purchased them. So have fun with the App Store. I'll cover it a bit more later on. Mm -hmm.